So please welcome tonight's cake, accompanied by Nigella Lawson. <laughs> oh, Nigella, what wow. a treat. Now that looks delicious. How good? Well, I hope it will be. What sort of cake is yeah. it? Well, it's a pear, pistachio and rose cake. You know, it's, you know, it's really, it's very easy. It's actually a very lazy cake. You put you know, ground almonds, eggs and pears. Yep. Uh, in the processor, some sugar, blitz it all, and it's got a bit of rose water, and then and some ground pistachios too, which is to do with the sugar, and so it's quite easy to do, and it's it sort of pleases everyone. You can do it ahead, mm. and for yeah. those who are interested, gluten free, dairy free, but that incidentally, that, it not on purpose. Bit. Absolutely, because you are a big fan of MasterChef, aren't you, Nigella? And also, you ended up on the uh, Australian version. Yes, but I am very cross with you. Why? Because I have recorded everything of Celebrity MasterChef and I was saving oh. up to watch it and now you've just told me who the finalists are. Yeah. So you that... know what? We felt the same. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think we've got a problem with your microphone, right. Nigella. We are live, but that's the yeah. way it goes. Okay, that's the way it goes. My, my, my wife is exactly the same. Yeah. She feels exactly the same. Exactly the same as you. Yeah, because you, yeah. you save it, it up. Because we saved it up, yes. Yeah. And then you just, you let me know what's happening. You've yeah. ruined, that's it. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'll Actually, bear the. Di I'll bear it bravely. But we'll have a good insight into the contestants. Yes. So that will be yeah, a yeah, bonus. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Shall we talk about the Australia version? Shall we just yes. move on from it? Yeah, oh, go yeah, on. Yeah, go yeah, on yeah, then. Okay, what what did you make of it over there? What did hmm? you make of it? The, no, well, I liked it. I liked it. I've been a guest on yeah on Australian MasterChef, MasterChef Australia, what's called, and it was. Yeah. Oh, I liked it. It's um, it's quite interesting. It's a very food obsessed culture mm. Mm. and you know the food's good there and I and it's uh you when you're going on as a guest judge it's slightly different it goes out every night for a week and when you go on as a guest judge you're in a way a bit going on as a mentor yes. as well yeah. and you get to know every, you know you just get to know everyone and also unlike here they do all live on the compound mm. you know it's so it's it's a very different it's a very different experience. Yeah. It's fun. Just cut yeah, a I just bit for you there. I just have to have a little. It's still, it's very, I want it's the pistachio. Nice. You see. Mm. There you go. You nice. Think? That's good. That's <laughs> mm. It's that's like when you say to someone, "How do I look?" They say, "Fine," mm. before you go out. And you think, mm. Oh no. That if that's a lazy <laughs> cake, for. I'd love to try the full-on version. <laughs> no, no, it is quite because you, mm. you're not. You know, it is quite lazy. But you know, the thing is that, however, if something's easy to make, doesn't mean it's less delicious to eat. No. no. Well, the good news is there's more where that came from because yes. there's a whole new book out and a television series to go with it, which we'll talk about very shortly. Yes, but first we are talking...